She's at a place in her life where peace is a priority and negativity cannot exist. She's no longer matching energy. She's simply removing herself from any situation that doesn't vibrate her soul. So if you start moving funny, she's moving on. What's up, my Vina loves sisters Vina D coming to you all from Vina Tina News. Most of you are aware that Milo Hempton been doing interviews to promote The Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14. And in every single interview, she's shaded, hit below the belt, and just been extra when it comes to Kenya Moore. So Kenya Moore went on Watch What Happens Live, and she was asked a question about Milo calling her a husband. And Kenya simply responded, at least I'm a husband, but she said never was. We all heard that. And then recently, Kenya Moore was on the Wendy Williams show and Michael Rappaport did their interview. He basically told her that Milo was on the show and she called it jealous. And Kenya simply said, why would I be jealous? I'm an icon. She's an ex-con. The end. Nothing else. Didn't give her any more. That was it. Okay. And she moved on to answer different questions. Now, this was reposted on almost every single major social media blog page and different articles were done online, okay? Just fun shade, let's move on. So, Milo went ahead and left a comment on one of the blog pages that posted the video. And this is what she wrote. So, her first comment was, an icon, huh? Okay, that status has gotten you so far. We share the same platform now, honey. Your job is to talk about me every week, boo. See you on Sunday. As if she wasn't answering questions. How is she talking about you every week when you're the one talking about her? And she responded to the shade you threw at her in these interviews. This person responded, you sound salty. You might share the same platform, but you don't share the same accolades. That's the Miss USA. Show some respect, okay? So, but that wasn't enough because the blog page did not repost it. She had to think about something else. So now Milo is playing the victim. So she went on her page and she posted this. A round of applause to all the ex-cons who've turned their life around. It's not about where you start, but about how you finish. Keep going. Okay? And then she posted pictures of her different accomplishments. Milo, how many episodes now have you mentioned Kenya Moore being in the hotel with a white fridge? Kenya Moore currently owns Moore Manor. She's in a mansion. There's no more white fridge. She's not struggling. Her life is blessed. There's more to life than material things, but you are still talking about a white refrigerator because you don't have any current reads. Because her life is so amazing, she's blessed and highly favored, like I said in the last video. So it's okay for you to talk about a white refrigerator episode that happened 150 years ago, but it's not okay for Kenya to reference that you're an ex-con. It's okay to bring up the past with her biological mother, but she can't call you an ex-con. The victim mentality. Nothing Kenya Moore says about you, Milo, will ever compare to you saying that a three-day-old child deserves being abandoned by their mother. When you yourself grew up in foster care, that's not a dig. Nothing will compare to that. So the sympathy you're looking for right now with your responses, it's not working because Mala is getting dragged and I'm going to get to those comments. You are an ex-con, but what I've noticed on social media, people are no longer taking it. Times are different and times have changed. It's not only Team Twirl defending Kenya anymore. It's people who don't even rock with her defending her in the comments because we are not about to sit here and pretend like you didn't come for this woman and you constantly come for her in your interviews and now you want to play victim. Now let's get into some of these comments from social media. Milo comes for Kenya first all the time and then gets in her feelings afterwards when Kenya drags her effortlessly, which she does every time. At the end of the day, Kenya didn't lie and good for Milo for turning her life around. That's the difference. 
when Kenya responded, throw shade, she's not trying to place a lie on you that's going to destroy your life. She speaks facts. She doesn't run around spreading rumors and lies. She seems to be missing the point with her little post to gain sympathy. They so big and bad, talking itch, but always want to run to the internet trying to rally up the troops when Kenya speaks. The point is, she has no reason to be jealous of you, John Amos. <laughs> she is an icon and you are an ex-con. And those are facts. Good for you for turning your life around, but it is what it is. Stop coming for people if you don't want a response. Don't come for me unless I send for you. She has been doing interviews saying Kenya is a has-been this whole month downplaying Kenya. But when Kenya decides to amplify her past, it is don't talk about my past. Exactly. Victim. Like I said, when you have more than one mugshot, there might be an issue. Let's see what the next one will look like. Chad. Milo knows. The judge told her. I see you here again. And I'm throwing away the key. That's why you don't see her getting in any trouble. Throw the first punch and then play victim. Stop. Bleep. All those mug shots. She slashed a woman's face. Shaking my head. Milo cut a woman's face up so badly. I'm not sure why she's on the show. She's no role model. That's why I won't support the show. Didn't the girl she cut up commit? Exactly. Sorry, I mean, Milo literally sliced someone's face up and that victim took her life. She may be an escon, but this is some serious ish she did. She slashed a woman's face who could not live with herself after the attack and then went on to commit, you see the word, this is who people are celebrating. May that young lady so rest in peace. I did a video on it. I talked about the entire story, read the police report, read everything. If you missed that video, go to the RHOA playlist and watch it. Slashers, not slashers, if you know, you know, will forever get the side eye from me. Now she's playing victim after coming for Kenya unprovoked and calling her a husband. Kenya is black history, icon, and you are a convict, which are all facts. Don't start nothing, won't be nothing. Marlo, accept your L. All you did was confirm what Kenya stated. With posting those mugshots, Kenya told not one lie. Love Kenya some more. When you mess with people, you can't decide on how they are going to respond. So whomever is mad, do with it. Bloop. It has really gotten to her ex-con remain an ex-con. She started it but upset Kenya responded. Cha. Malo always do that. Thank you. She sent for Kenya, period. Exactly. Don't come for me unless I send for you. Exactly. Make it make sense. She confirmed exactly what Kenya stated. Laughing my bleep off, child, they always do. That's the reason why interest in the show is at ground level. The same old rant about Kenya being the devil after responding to what they got to say about her is exhausting. She got a whole pitch just to carry on with the same old mess. This only proved that it was a waste of peach. What did her first friend say? But nothing's going to change. You're only going to see her in the photo holding the peach. You're only going to see her in the photo holding the peach. You're only going to see her in the photo holding the peach. Exactly. She, as in Milo, started low and now she's trying to go high. Girl, Ray. That's nice and everything, but Kenya still ate her up. Basically, nice to share your story with us, Milo, but she ate you up. Stop coming for her. You talk about her mom said that she wasn't pregnant with her child. Then this new season, you're going back to reads that happened years ago. Okay, recycled old read that was done by your friend. She would post this after Kenya's comment. Milo, turn in your cards. I didn't even think you could get this pressed. Trying to prove a point. One mugshot. Okay, everybody makes mistakes, but she's got a variety pack of mugshots. Kenya still ate her up though. Well, Milo, you started it and Kenya wiped you up. People be dragging Milo, but I keep my comments PG because I don't want to get my videos blocked. But Milo wrote in her hashtag we're on the same platform now or something like that. So I want to read these interactions in the comments, okay? Uh, this person wrote, this person responded to the top comment, 
and yet they're both on the same platform. Looks like they're equal to me. This person responded, I think not. Certainly Kenya is top tier housewife who gets paid way more than that hater who just secured a peach because of Portia and Cynthia leaving. Same platform with different paychecks. Kenya came on the show with her peach. Mala been on the show for 13 years and just now getting hers. And that was only because Portia decided to leave. Like I said, she's a peasant in comparison. Plus, Kenya's been in three shows, meaning Bravo related. Already, Kenya is an icon while she's a convict who does other low down things for money. That literally means nothing still in the same room. That means absolutely nothing if they're in the same room, same platform. So there's that. She's not on her level even in RHOA. Kenya is queen of RHOA. Miss James Emos is a thirsty escort allegedly. She's not on her level. Kenya is pre-housewife and a household name. Miss James Emos is only relevant on RHOA. No one's checking for her elsewhere. And I won't be surprised if she does. Kenya read her and moved on, but I wouldn't be surprised if she turns it into a t-shirt. This person wrote, uh, she should get on her candy type ish. Cute story. Drop the victim card. If you want to play with the big dogs, you asked to get served and Kenya served and cleared you. Really? Milo acts like she's jealous of Kenya in this situation. Milo came for Kenya first, but did she really expect Kenya not to say anything at all? Exactly. Is this the same Milo who cursed at Kenya for being abandoned by her mother, now preaching to forget the past? Girl, bye. Well, don't start or come for Kenya because you would deal with her shade. Milo started it. Why is she upset? Milo will say the worst things to people then play victim. I'm not a Kenya fan. Heck, Kenya has been blocked. However, Milo started this. She can't get mad at how Kenya responds. Milo, you shade Kenya and get in your feelings because she shades you back. Girl, bye. But didn't she start with Kenya first? Boy, I tell you. Maybe if she keep Kenya off her mind and lips, she wouldn't have to mention her convict past. Milo came for Kenya first, but she, she can really clap back at Kenya when she came for Kenya first. It amazes me how people want to play the sympathetic card after you've come for someone. Now Kenya isn't always portrayed in the good light, but I honestly think she wanted to give Milo a second chance while Milo is so excited to have a peach. She is throwing stones at everyone, including Candy. And people not on the show like Portia. So yes, Milo, congrats on turning your life around. Doesn't mean we forget. You will still and forever have those convictions. It's true. Well, don't start something you can't finish. You calling her names when she been in the game since the 90s. So she can say the same thing because she is a college graduate, model, actress, etc. She been said, don't come for me unless she sends for you. When are y'all gonna learn? Milo, you can't come for someone that can read for filth and pull back. Proud of you, but stay in your lane. You don't want any more smoke from Kenya. She should be happy Kenya gave the ammo to make this clap back. This is very awesome, but you can't get in your feelings when you start something or call someone a has-been. Then run to the internet for applause points. Very glad her life is in a different direction, but just leave people alone. Oh, so now Milo the victim? Girl, you went on a show calling Kenya a has-been. Exactly. She started it. Kenya responded, the end. So Milo picks fights with Kenya. When Kenya responds, Milo mixes about to come up. Well played, Milo. Now, now you are the victim. Milo threw the first jab, so don't bob and weave now. LOL, Kenya is the queen of shade. Does Milo ever get tired of acting like the victim? She constantly comes for people and then say others are evil or me, etc. Milo, you said something about her first and she responded, get over it. If they are in the same place, what was the point in calling Kenya a husband? Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody who gets it. Your whole point is I went from being a convict to now sitting at the same table as you. But yet, 
Kenya Moore is a has-been, even though the both of you are on the same show. Kenya Moore is a has-been, but Kenya Moore is the reason why you have a peach because without Kenya, what other storyline would you have? You're going to come for candy for two seconds, apologize, and the both of you are going to move on. Without Kenya, who would be talking about your interviews right now? Without Kenya, what questions would they be asking you in your interviews for you to pop on these blog pages? Kenya Moore is the reason why you're popping on these blog pages, not you. So actually, you should be cutting Kenya Moore a check. Milo can go low, be petty. She sometimes act like a 14-year-old when she put that note in the teacup saying, Candy bleep bleep in the locker room. I'm pretty sure she was doing that to, to all them white men she was getting money from. She's pretty jealous of Candy money. Can't take Miss Moore out the history book, child. I'm sorry, I don't like Milo as a peach holder. She just isn't classy enough and she tries way too hard. Yes, so low budget. Agreed. It just feels weird and her voice is annoying. Feel someone else could be more peach worthy. This is not a Kenya Moore fan page comment section either. It's one of the Real Housewives of Atlanta fan pages that support all the girls. And majority of the comments look like that. So Milo... The time of let us all gank up on Kenya Moore and pretend like we did not see people coming for her is over. Give it up. I'm wishing all of you well and take care. And here my friend I left. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also turn on notifications so when I do post you where they're posted and I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day guys. God bless.